Kyle, Aaron mentioned the other day that you were dealing with a little soreness in your neck. Obviously, you were out there today, but did you just think that was a product of catching the first intra-squad game? Uh, no, I, I'm not really sure how it started. It just uh, it just locked up on me earlier in the day when I was taking batting practice, and it was really preventing me from kind of swinging at a even a competitive level. So I just I figured, you know, taking a day now is – probably better than taking a couple weeks later on if it becomes a, an issue. Do you feel it at all anymore or is it completely gone? It's good enough. Good enough. Uh, what did you see from Davey Garcia today? He looked good. I thought, uh, I thought his fastball was, was really playing up in the zone today. Uh, breaking balls looked very sharp and, and his, his command was pretty, pretty sharp too. So he had a, I thought he had a good inning. Thank you. We can take the next question from Eric Boland. Eric, go ahead. Hey, Kyle, uh, just to follow up on Meredith's question about David, you, you caught him in the minor leagues, you caught him in the spring, you caught him tonight. Can you just talk about some of the attributes that you've seen from him that, that might allow him to be successful at this level? Yeah, I think a common theme in today's game is is high spin rate plays on the fastball um i b i believe his his breaking ball has high spin as well but obviously in the other direction but um you know he's got good velo high spin rate and and he knows how to pitch so you know i think he's got a, a good chance to be pretty successful thanks Kyle. yep sweeney murdy you're up go ahead and unmute Hey, uh, Higgy, have you uh, kind of tried to figure out what playing time might look like for your spot in a 60-game season versus 162? Have you guys talked about what the what Gary's schedule might be like and what you might anticipate getting behind the plate? Uh, no, because I think it's best just to – uh, I would say it's best to prepare like you're playing every day and then if you're not in the lineup, you're not in the lineup. And if you're in there, it's great. But um, I don't think it's my place to kind of try and figure out how much I'm going to play or how little I'm going to play. I think I just need to show up to the ballpark, prepare every day, and see where, where I am, if I'm in the lineup or not. Next question from Brendan Cuddy. Brendan, go ahead. Hey, Kyle. Glad the next doing better. Thanks for taking the time. Um, what would you think of crowd noise being pumped into the stadium? Would that make things weirder because it's not a real crowd noise, or would you want something other than a silent stadium? I don't know. I, I don't think I'd be opposed to it. Uh, we, we have like some music playing out there right now very lightly while we're playing to just kind of break up the dead silence, which is, it's, it's better than it was the first day where we were just playing in, in, a, in a, an abyss, just a void of sound. So um, I wouldn't be opposed to crowd noise. Thank you. Max Goodman, go ahead and unmute. You have the next question. You got me now? Yep. Awesome. Okay. Hey, Kyle. Hope all is well. Good to see you. Um, Thank you. You too. The, the consensus from some of the pitchers that we've talked to is that they're ahead of the hitters right now. And since you're able to be behind the plate looking directly at those pitchers, but also you have that experience facing some of your own guys, do you agree with that? And do you think that with, with these inter-squad reps, you guys, the, the hitters are going to be able to catch up? Uh, I, I agree with that assessment. I would say the, the pitchers are definitely slightly ahead because I think, I think it's a little easier to stay in game shape per se as a pitcher because, you know, I mean, you, I, theoretically you could even throw a bullpen into a net, whereas a hitter, you can't really see live pitching unless you're, you have access to that, which, I mean, no high schools or colleges were playing during this quarantine, so... I don't think any of us had any access to see live pitching, which is kind of the big, that's, you know, 
as a hitter, you, you need spring training to see that live pitching before you go to the season or else it's, you feel like you're kind of, you know, unprepared. Thank you. Take a final question from James Wagner. James, go ahead. Hey, Kyle. Uh, hope all's well. Hope you're doing okay. The family too. Uh, just kind of oh, curious. You. I know it's only been like one, you know, kind of game or a few games right now, but like, how does the, the pre like game planning work for a catcher? Like when you meet with the pitcher and the pitching coaches, like do you guys six, six feet apart, do you look, how do you look over video? I mean, how does that stuff work in like this new world? We actually are meeting and doing everything like, like it's a real game. We're doing catchers are doing our pregame routines. Uh, so, um, I mean, for me, it feels the the run up from BP to the game feels like a real game day. So, I mean, I don't. It doesn't seem that much different to 